In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, an advanced signal processing techniques in Event ID. In Event ID, you can read and monitor any signal, for example, streamed by EEG Amplify in real time, as you can see on the screen. This can be done at the background of an experimental task without interference with timing accuracy. You can even control events in the experiment with any properties of the real time signal. Imagine, for example, a mental game in which stimulus presentation starts as the frequency power goes over threshold. Recently, we developed another processing method that allows to forecast an online signal given that there are some regularities in it, for example, rhythmic oscillations. In case of the oscillatory signal, the method can be used to predict a certain phase in the signal and accurately log stimulus presentation to it. Let's see how it works. We need to add just two modules called elements in the existing experimental design. The first element is a signal reader, able to take selected EEG channels directly from an amplifier. For this demo, however, we will use a single offline signal previously recorded into a file. The recorded signal contains the pronounced alpha rhythm between 8 and 12 Hz. The second element is a signal analyzer that processes the signal data in several steps. It has multiple tuning settings that can be adjusted, for example parameters of a bandpass filter. Important that the element generates a number of output plots that helps to monitor the signal processing in real time. Let's start the demo experiment. Here we can see the status screen of Event ID. The status screen is a programmable layout that allows you to accommodate different controls and visualization widgets required for a particular experiment. This includes text blocks, buttons, sliders, and various interactive plots. The status screen is shown on the secondary monitor, whereas stimuli are presented on the primary monitor. Programming the status screen for your needs is as simple as creating a web page. On the middle we can see the power spectrum density plot showing a real-time frequency's power over the selected range of the interest. The dominant frequency and its power are shown in, the, in one of the control panels. Directly on the plot we can set a threshold to suspend the analysis when no alpha rhythm is presented in the signal. On the top plot, we see the original signal, which is drawn in real time. The zero mark is the present moment and a resizable window shows the already recorded EEG signal. Two white bars defines a part of the signal that is used to build up a contingent signal model based on a sine wave. The modelled sign is then used to predict a future signal over the zero mark. When there is a good fit of the model, we can see a flashing green wave that extends in the future segment. The method's calculations returns a time shift from the present moment until the next target phase occurrence. Currently, we are looking for the phase of 90 degrees of sign. The bottom plot can be used to validate the method performance. All made phase predictions are evaluated over a real signal and shown as vertical bars. The color of bars between green and red denotes an actual error of predictions. The overall error statistics is also collected and is shown on the red panel on the left. In addition, a number of controls allows tuning the method's parameters on the fly. We can change the target phase, adjust the threshold values, toggle plotting or bandpass filtering. Plots can also be rescaled with drugging. Note that the performance statistics in the bottom panel one computational cycle of our method over a thousand of samples takes about 30 milliseconds on a conventional computer. Without plotting, the time drops to about 10 milliseconds per cycle, which allows you to obtain an almost instantaneous neurofeedback control in your experiment. 
In this demo, the phase prediction starts in the idle mode. If we want to turn on the stimulus presentation locked to the target phase, we click on this button and bring the presentation window into a view. Now you can see that a visual stimulus shortly flashing precisely at the same moment as the target phase of alpha oscillation occurs in a brain area. The true neurofeedback control, isn't it? Thank you for watching this video. If you have questions or would like to apply our signal processing techniques in your research, please contact us via www.akazalab.com.